Absolutely, it would be indeed. And yeah. Chuck, I want to yeah. turn now to uh, Bo Birdall. Uh, the politics yep. of this have really gotten away from the White House, and you're an astute uh, political pragmatic guy who studies this for a living. I want to ask you this. Talking to a lot of Republicans, one thing they've used against the president and why they can't do large-scale things like immigration reform is they say, well, we have this trust issue within our conference. Talking to GOP aides yesterday, right. they go to me, my God, the president just played right into our hand. We had no tangible example of the president not being able, uh, us not being able to trust the president. It was sort of thrown out there as a talking point. But now with this, it's played right into yeah. the hand. How did the politics of Bergdahl get away from them so quickly? Well, and, it, and it, I think, look, and I think now we're in day six here, and I think we now sort of, I, and I've always believed this entire thing was about the five Taliban members they decided the least. This entire thing was about Gitmo. And now looking back, you have to wonder, was the entire attempt at the Rose Garden ceremony uh, an effort by the White House to make it so that the debate didn't immediately go to Gitmo? that they wanted it to be a rally around the flag moment with Bergdahl a little bit, almost an attempt to tamp down what they expected to be a heated debate over uh, who should get released from Gitmo, how, when, how does it work, all of those uh, all of those questions, which I think is part of this debate that I'm just sort of uh, surprised hasn't, hasn't been at the heart of the back and forth so far, because we know what a political hot potato that is, and this is a, a very touch a legal, situ legal question, let alone a political question, uh, what they didn't anticipate, uh, and the White House has admitted this to me, they did not anticipate the blowback on Bergdahl himself, that he would be the flashpoint, and obviously he has been the flashpoint so far, but I think as, as you see, the, the question now in their effort to try to tamp down a debate about Gitmo, I actually think they, they may have made it harder to get uh, cooperation from Congress, and I tell you, you know, one of their background excuses as to why they're very limited in how they consult Congress. So they're saying, well, we're always worried it leaks and this or that. You know, that is factually, you and I both know, le you know, leaks from Capitol Hill uh, are what make reporters able to do their jobs some days. And we right. thank uh, the heavens for those leaks sometimes. However, it is an equal branch of government. And, you know, whether it was complaints that Democrats made during the Bush years about the lack of consultation that they got, and now we're hearing the same thing with Republicans complaining about the Obama years. The fact of the matter is, is I think you get this with the executive branch. They get so caught up in wanting to keep information, make their decisions, and, and worry about Congress that they don't treat them as an equal branch of government uh, sometimes. And I think that this is one of those that they're, you're right, the long term impact of this. Uh, may be greater than the White House potentially understands today. Yeah, it makes any backbench Republican congressman who maybe wanted to go to the center a little bit, it makes it a lot harder to do so. Chuck, you will be back with us Love later with in the, the hour base. ahead of the president's yeah. news conference. We'll yeah. have a lovely back and forth. Thanks so much for joining us on your own wonderful program. Yeah, buddy. But 